All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Let's get straight into the video, starting with Bean Bricks, and he says, ASA, what is, wait, no, I messed that up already. Uh, <laughs> he says, ASA, what fig are you most excited for this summer? Personally, I'm excited for the Gar Saxon and, or, not and, I can't read today, apparently, or the Bad Batch figs. Yeah, I'm actually going to agree with you. I'm really excited for that Gar Saxon minifigure because apparently he's going to have a special mold helmet with like the horns and oh, it's just going to be so cool. And then of course the Bad Batch minifigures, those are going to look cool. I hope. Um, I don't know. We'll find out. So yeah, but I'm really excited for that Gar Saxon minifigure. I think it's going to be really cool. And then our next question comes from Burner Builds and he says, ASA, what do you think the rumored 2021 20, summer $30 set is I believe the rumor mega another mega battle pack considering we didn't get a battle pack in the winter wave so yeah I agree um I don't really know if it's gonna be a no like mega or super battle pack but it seems like lego is kind of leaning more towards that now so that way they can make more money I guess on a bigger set with like six minifigures so I personally I do agree I think it's gonna be another one of those like 5-0 first battle pack kind of situations where it's like you get four minifigures maybe like two battle droids or two i don't know something else um and like two medium size builds so like bigger than micro fighters but smaller than like a play set for like 40 dollars. so it, it it sounds pretty cool to me so i hope that it is and i really hope that it's something imperial like stormtroopers versus rebels or something long live um, but I hope that they redesign the Stormtrooper helmet soon because I'm getting really sick of this new one that's just absolutely hideous. What are you looking at? Our next question comes from Mr. J Lego Wiz, and he says, are you, no, not are you, man, I see, I really can't read today. What game are you playing? So last episode of ASA, I was playing the Battlefront from the early 2000s. It is a really cool Battlefront game, um, of course it's just offline the servers and everything are down now but um it's just against like ai but it's a really fun game and so that's what i was playing last time but today um episode of asa will be human fall flat gameplay i try to mix it up when i you know play my games but i've been playing a lot of that battlefront game lately and it's just really good background um gameplay in my opinion so um yeah today's human fall flat last time was battlefront from the early 2000s which leads us to our next question which comes from johannes i hope i'm saying your name right i'm sorry if i'm not um and he says what's your favorite star wars game and i'm gonna say the early 20 or the early 2000s star wars battlefront um i just absolutely love that game i grew up with that game that was like the game i played the most as a kid um like in terms of Star Wars game, I should say. So it's just like part of my childhood. So that's part of why I just love that game so much. But it's just such a great and fun game. Like I will literally play the same maps every single time. Do basically the same thing every single time. And always have something fun that happens. Like something funny happens. Darth Vader has entered the battlefield. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a wonderful, great game. And if you don't have it, I recommend getting it, honestly, um, for either Xbox or I think it's on PlayStation, but you can play it on your Xbox one. So it's just, it's really fun. Um, and so I'm actually going to turn that question around and ask you guys, what's your favorite Star Wars game? I also really like the Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. That's a great game too. Kenobi. <laughs> Kenobi. Anyways, our next question comes from Womai, and he says, If the rumors are true, which will be your favorite one? Oh. Honestly, is it cheesy or n not allowed to say all of them? I just, I'm excited for all the sets, but if I had to pick just one, like, I was like, nope, you had to pick one. I'm going to say the one with Darth Maul and Ahsoka. Or Darth Maul versus Ahsoka on Mandalore. That's going to be such a cool set. I really like those dual sets anyways. But of course because Darth Maul's in it. I'm going to love it right. So uh, I'm going to say that one. Our next episode. 
Our next episode, what is with me today? Our next question comes from Ace Gamer Studios, and he says, ASA, would you like to see Lego bring back Pirates of the Caribbean theme since Lego brought back Harry Potter? Honestly, not really. I don't care if Lego did. I wouldn't care if they did or didn't because though I like the movies, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to buy the sets even if they look really cool. So... There already are Pirates of the Caribbean sets. I don't think they sold that well. I'm assuming that's why they ended the theme. That or had to do with like licensing crap. Something like that. Um, I don't actually know. So I shouldn't act like I do. Um, but if they brought it back. I wouldn't care one way or another. So um, I'm sorry if that's kind of not a good answer. But I just I couldn't care less honestly. So our next question comes from the Retain Skeeter. And he says what is your favorite year of Lego Star Wars? Okay, I'm going to do that cheesy thing again where I just say I'm all, but this time I mean it. I can't pick a favorite year of LEGO Star Wars. I initially, I think I said like 2014. I think I answered a question similar to this like maybe 10 episodes ago. Um, and I said like 2014, but I take that back. I just love all years of LEGO Star Wars. If there wasn't a year that had LEGO Star Wars, that would be a bad year, right? So um, I'm just going to say them all. I know that's really cheesy, but... I can't help it. I just love Lego Star Wars. Our next question comes from Dreamman66. Wasn't it 65? I can't remember. Are you going to buy the new Imperial Shuttle? I definitely am. I'm already saving up my money. That's awesome. I hope you get it, and I hope you love it when you do. Um, yes, I am definitely going to get it for two reasons. One, because it looks amazing. Actually, three reasons. Because it looks amazing. I don't have an Imperial Shuttle, nor have I ever owned a Lego Imperial Shuttle. And... So I can do a review because, yes, I'm going to do a review. So, of course, I'm going to buy it and I'm really excited about that. So our next question comes from Esme King and he says, I'm running out of questions at this point. Well, you don't have to question, ask a question every time, but I do appreciate you asking them. So thank you, Esme King. Anyways, he says, if you could go back in time and get rare sets at their original retail price, what year would you go back to for what sets and why? All right, I'm going to pull like a little cheeky cheat code out, I guess, if you will. Um, rather than going back and buying sets because that costs money, even if they were at normal retail price, so like a $13 price for a battle pack, I'm going to just say I would just go back in time to when I was a kid slash like teenager, like maybe 14, and stop myself from selling all my old school like 2009 Lego Star Wars sets and um, some of the other ones. And then that way I would have them to this day. Um, and then I wouldn't have to spend any money because I already spent the money. Like I used to own things like the Venator, the gunship. I'm not lying. Like all these cool ships um, or sets and like some of the really cool battle packs with like the clone troopers. Um, and for some reason I sold them all. And I didn't probably didn't even make a lot of money off of them. Um, so it was like, why did you do that? So, um, yeah, if I could go back in time, I would stop myself from selling those sets and then I'd have them to this day. I probably would have done reviews on all of them by now and it would have just been a lot better and cooler. So, yeah. And our last question of the day comes from Jawa and he says, how do you feel about that one channel called the Brick Foundation where they literally post links on their channel? Um, so... I don't want to start any beef with anyone, especially someone more popular than me, because that would like literally kill my channel. That's probably already dying. Um, <laughs> okay, I shouldn't say that. I don't want to like start any beef with anyone because I don't like that personally. Um, I'm like, I'm not going to get into that. Um, so I don't want to say anything bad. But if what you tell me is true, that does seem a little lame. Um, I haven't watched any of his videos and I don't honestly plan on doing it, but I did check out his channel. Um, but he does get decent views and he does have a good number of subscribers so whatever he's doing must be working so um i'm not going to talk crap about him because he's clearly better than me in terms of getting attention um at least so yeah but that's going to do it for today's episode of asa i'm sorry if that's a lame answer but um so thank you all very much for watching thank you all very much for asking questions remember to comment a question or two or 10 down below for the next episode of asa and i will pin my favorite to the top Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed all that fun stuff, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching.